care plan. Remember? So, in, in uh, this patient's care plan states that every 10 a.m. Twice, twice a week, it depends. Twice a week, you have to perform bed bath and bed making. So, today is the day. Okay? So, what you will do next, you have to uh, check the vital signs of the patient. Okay? So, in the morning, of course, good morning, Mom. Where are you? How are you? I'm good. Really? Okay, that's good. I'm happy to hear that. So today, scheduled for your bed bath, your bath. Is it okay? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. In 30 minutes, I will I will just prepare the materials and then I will come back and then let's start the bath. Okay? okay. So then. And then take the vital signs, apparatus. There. You have to do the vital signs. Why, why is it? The reason of taking the vital signs is for you to see if uh, the temperature, the pulse rate are normal. And it acts like a baseline. Because after one hour later on, after giving that, you have to check again to see if there are any changes. Okay? So especially for a patient that is uh, needing oxygen therapy. Sometimes during waiting, you they are exerting the effort, no? Turning and all. So some oxygen, the oxygen level is getting lower. So we have to give oxygen therapy after. Then, when the vital side, let's take it because see, there's a video I will just show. Okay, vital signs. So temperature, take the pulse, also. Uh, everything, the, the respiration, so there. At home, they usually use um, the automatic one. But they also use this one in case the result of that is quite intriguing. You know, it's not, it's, it's like far from the normal one. So there, after vital signs and everything is okay, then you have to prepare. Do not prepare materials unless you have performed vital signs or if the patient uh, already told you that it's okay. It means they give you consent. So I asked consent, she said yes. So now I need to prepare my materials. Turn off the AC if it's possible, if needed. If not, just put on like 27 or 28 degrees centigrade. So, it makes the room warm 30 minutes before okay and then prepare all the materials you need it must be organized so while performing it's easier for you to take them like that prepare so pillow and you continue so kunwari this is already prepared pillow okay and then the water must be warm, always. Water must be warm. So also prepare a soil linen basket or a bag. Yes, and a garbage bin because later on when we change the diaper, we have to throw it directly there. And then right after we will all clean it. No, so everything is prepared. Once it's all prepared, go back to the patient. Okay. So, ma'am, I already prepared everything. So, let's start. Okay? So, what you will do, bring down. Put the, the level of the bed must be on the waist here. It depends on you how high you want because you are avoiding uh, hurting ourselves. Of course, you have to practice the proper body mechanics because if we are like this, like that, performing it's painful later on so this is very comfortable so there once you prepare that one put on the under parts okay why do we need to put under parts to prevent leaking yes to catch the water okay so slide your hand and then it's like this one. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 
change this one into a baking bake blanket. Blanket under. We are providing privacy, by the way. So before we start, of course, you already identified. You know the patient. You provide privacy. Huh? You explain the procedure and then ask consent. It's done. The procedure must be performed before we do this. Okay, and then this one. Just roll it like this. And then put on the linen basket, for the linen basket. And then next is the gown. Take it under also. So, yes, yes. This is the purpose of this one. To make your privacy. And then once it's done, put under pants at the back. Position the patient, lift the leg. So it must be length twice. It's not like this. No. You will learn later. It must be like this. the preparation before you pour any water to the patient. Every time you are out of this side or that side, you have to bring the side rails up for safety. Okay? And then if you work on the patient, you have to bring down the side rails. Okay? So, the patient is ready. Water is ready. You have to take the temperature of water with your elbow. Which one? Either, either one of them, and then fill two basins. Okay, fill one first. Warm water with soap. Uh, shampoo at first, yeah. Okay. Let's do the shampooing. So, warm water, then put on here, get the shampoo. Shampoo ba to? Yeah. Okay, shampoo, then later on you will use it. Not pouring like this, how you just put on your palm. Okay, bring this with water. If the hair is not so long, you can do this. Okay? Just remove the peel for a while. And then rinse. Rinse until there. Okay? Once it rinse, it rinse, get this. Put some amount and then try to like that. Do not put directly, okay? And then until there, the back. Then rinse again with this one. Rinse. Double rinse, okay? Throw and then take more for rinsing. Okay? It's if necessary. If it's male, their hair is short, so maybe when you rinse it, like that. And then, if all the soap sides are gone, lift the head, 
hand or you can you or can water. get yes you mm -hmm. can warm or just your palm then like this okay then with some yes it's like that <laughs> then set aside the reason why this is not at the center is that you can pull and fold But this is still absorbing the, you know, the water. And then, throw. There must be one bucket, one more bucket to dispose all the used water. Okay? And then next, next, you have to put towel, dry. This Okay. So you have to dry it and then eventually you will do the what do you call this one? This okay. Mm -hmm. okay, next the face. You have to rinse this and then put warm water. Warm water and then the facial soap. Facial soap. And then for the face, you will not use uh Towel. We we don't usually use this thick towel. We use the you know the adult wipes. Yeah, mm -hmm. adult wipes. Because you will dispose later on. But since we do not have, so we will use this one. Okay. First, you have to form this. Parang ganon siya. Parang mag. <laughs> wipes. Okay, something like this. So, three, then the eyes first, the inner to outer. So, inner pantus to outer pantus. So, the, the, from the eyes, this, and then the upper one. One, third, two. And then rinse the other one. One, two, rinse, the third. So, you will not use the same space. Okay? And then, next, it will be the forehead. Like that, and the face. Like this. Like that. Okay? Rinse. Turn. The face down. The face down. Rinse. And then the neck. Okay? Discard this one, and then get for rinsing. For rinsing. That is with soap, ha? Huh? The first one, always. This is for rinsing. So the same process. Same process. Inner to outer. Inner to outer. Rinse. Turn. Inner to outer. Inner to outer. And then rinse the forehead, the face, the neck, and then the ears and the back of the ears. Okay? Rinse. And then last is the little nostrils. Okay, you have to include here if there's no trick, no trick too. Otherwise, just until here. Okay, in the back of the ear ears. And then, get a face towel. And then just tap. Don't do it like that. Just tap, tap, tap like this. Oh, done for the face. Next, discard the water. Throw the adult wipes we use. Okay? Refill this with warm water because we are about to wash this area, the body part. Next, uh, here you can use towel because we, we will scrub. Okay? Put soap here, warm water, remember. So, all you have to do is to bring down this. <laughs> Okay, up to here only. So, of course, if women, they have big boobs, no? So, you have to lift sometimes that one. Sometimes the boobs is still, is still. Okay, so. Uh -oh. Okay, so then, uh, you can get warm water and then, like this, with the arms. First are this one. So, this is with soap. You start with the pump. The inner digits like this. And there. Like that. Last is the armpit. Later. 
ribs. Do the same to the other side. Okay? Include the shoulder here. Ribs. You will draw because you have to change. Yeah, ribs the arms. And then, discard. Take another warm water for the body naman. Body. You have to take more towels. Start the body. To flush. Pre-rinse it. This is with soap. Now you can do that. Then there. <laughs> so heavy. <laughs> Do it this. So heavy. That's so heavy. <laughs> okay. Or sometimes heal. Rinse. You can even drink water. Hmm? To remove. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's not like this hard. <laughs> Just leave it there. Just leave it there. Okay. And then. Uh, last is the armpit pala. The other one. Take one. Rinse. This is without soap. Mm -hmm. Without soap. So final. Same process. Same sound. Okay. No. You can do like this. Same process as the... You know, the yes. shampoo or something. Okay. And then you can scrub to remove more soap. Then the final. Done. Okay, towel to dry. How will I put this? Can you guess? Like this. Right. Dry? Okay. Okay. So remember, it is wet at the back. So we have to perform the back as well. Because uh, with the standard procedure, they go through this one, and then when they turn this one, they, that's the time they will bleed the back. Mm -hmm. And they forgot that the back is soaked with water. So for me, I prefer to do the, this part even at the back. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it's my technique. Okay? But uh, if they will tell you, no, go through, so you have to follow the instruction. Mm -hmm. That's what they used to do. So for me, Clean everything out in the back because I need to remove this. Yeah, it's, uh, it's wet. Already. It is soaking, especially if it's elderly. If you soak them like that, they will do oh, chilling and then later cough. Mm -hmm. No, so I experienced that. That's why I know it. Okay, so turn the patient. Put the arm here. Turn the patient to that side because I will work here. Okay, so then like that. See, expose that one. I need to get a new one. Do the same process. One more. With soap. Then rinse. Take water. Rinse. Rinse. Yes. Yeah. 